today on the show, we have the all-new 2025, that's right, the 25 Ford Explorer in ST form. And I've told you guys I did a build and price on the ST and I'm pretty impressed with this thing. And already, Kelly's in the driver's seat. What you is, know I gotta steal the driver's seat. What is going on here? Uh, but Kelly, what a little <laughs> ride this thing is. Let's look inside and uh, go from there. All right, Kelly, so for 25, they've updated the dash in this thing. It's a, it's a little more sporty looking, a little more exciting looking. Uh, where are you at with this? Because we have a Mustang. We do. Uh, we really like the Mustang. Mm -hmm. We're not Ford exclusive, but they've been doing a lot of fun stuff here lately. Yeah. What about this thing? I kind of call this like the sport CUV, SUV. Like what this thing is sporty feeling, right? This to me is akin to the Durango Hellcat, but Inside, it feels a little smaller than yeah. that. And unfortunately, you're not getting the V8, though. Right, That, that is not. the problem, but you are getting a twin turbo <laughs> yes. three liter uh, making around 400 horsepower. For sure. 400 horsepower <laughs> in, in kind of a family grocery getter. In this tiny nuts. little thing. You're right, in this tiny horsepower. little thing. But as, as you're sitting in it, this is sporty. It's fun looking. I like the fact that they didn't just go nuts with it. They could have went all out and just went really crazy with it, but they chose to. Let's just subtle. You know, the grill's a little bit bigger. Uh, getting a lot of fun lights. The ST line's always been sort of confusing of what you get, but now they've sort of kind of trimmed down the ST line where it's basically, unless you want mud flaps or something, it's um, <laughs> that's about the only option. But as far as the interior of this, I love the full digital dash. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. The steering wheel is very racy feeling. It's substantial. Um, the big the big selling point for me was the center, the center yes. console, the way they've done where you put your phone, and Kelly's gonna throw her phone in there, but I like the fact that it's kind of within arm's reach. And I Where we're living in a world of, hey, don't text and drive and all that, I understand that, but at some points when you, it's more distracting for your phone to be buried underneath a dash where you can't 100%. get to it than it is to if you need for emergency reasons, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever reasons you might need to get to it, that is pretty cool. Now I wanna look inside this thing because I gotta get Kelly out of the car because she's probably not gonna wanna give it up. <laughs> but I will look inside and look at some of the, the things that I've seen online that I like and now I can touch and feel and see, did I really like those? All right, we open up the door of this thing. You get a lot of fun red stitching. It's sporty as the ST line should. Of course, you're gonna get some Ford performance there on the bottom. The seats look racy, nice, soft, kind of Alcantara-y like with hints of leather there, which is really nice. The steering wheel's the, the winner for me. That looks like something that should be out of the GT or something. It looks very sporty. So we get into this, and this is the view that you're gonna see. I, I mean, hopefully not an auto show or anything, but this is what you see. Look at that. I like that we're going all digital. Yes. I hate the fact that some vehicles are still partially digital, partially not. I just, just do away with it. Grandma and grandpa, are, they're not gonna freak out too much about it. But the screen to me is something I wish they would have kind of integrated somehow better. Merged it into the dash a little bit better. It, that, I will say, Kind of feels like an afterthought a little I bit. You stole the words right from my mouth because I was going to say afterthought. Right. Now they're doing, I, they have a whole new infotainment center they're calling this, and I'll throw it up in a link there. But this, once again, I'm telling you, this matters a lot because Kelly's got her phone right here. You know that your passenger can have one right there. And and honestly, just when you're driving, that might work. It's just a hand brace. But uh, I would have liked to see a shifter in this thing, mm -hmm. but they don't want to scare the uh, the kind of moms or dads that uh, just Are don't want that. They don't want an aggressive looking vehicle, so they're kind of used to that. But you get your drive modes down here, your electronic parking brake. You do have two cup holders here. And Kelly, what do we have right here? A little extra storage. With, it looks like your USB A and C down there and then an AUX plug. That's nice use of that because some manufacturers want to shove it down in the side yes. down here and then it just never works out. Overall though, the stitching, the aggressiveness of this vehicle looks really, really nice. Uh, I can't say enough that when Ford Performance gets their hands on stuff, they do tend to upgrade these things. Now, Kelly, look above this. The big roof of this thing, the big mm -hmm. pano sunroof, like that means a lot to you, yeah, right? Yeah, the wide open sunroof, moonroof, whatever we want to call it is absolutely a selling point to me because I don't know it just screams wide open spaces when yeah. you're having one of those days that yeah. you just feel really cramped in and you just open it up that's right and you know you uh, can do this you can look outside I did on an auto show but as far as the back it's three row seating you can see the seats are laid down right now uh, I like the captain's chairs for the mm -hmm. ST and I like that they didn't skimp on the passengers back there some of these manufacturers make it to where the the driver and passenger feel like they got cool seating yes. and past that they it's they don't they the passengers don't really they matter don't take care of the passengers they've taken all the trim and everything and blended it into the rear of this and uh yeah. i like it uh, i like it a lot and i want to test drive this thing definitely now let's uh let's kind of go back around the vehicle 
I, I, there's a couple things I like. There's one thing I don't like, and uh, let's find out what that is. One thing I do like is the Explorer being blacked out like that. It matches the grill. I like it. it it's aggressive. I wish Ford would have kind of blended the, the Ford badging a little bit. Now, they do that on Maybe some trims. Maybe blacked out would have been They nice. are starting to offer a blacked out version of this, but the, the LED license thing, all this stuff looks really cool. Big, massive wheels on this thing, Kelly. They are, if I remember right, 21s or 22s. 21. 21s. On this, you're getting big, brake, aggressive brake calibers on this. The Explorer badging all the way through is really cool. Um, all the people that can uh, you know, jump right in, that's cool. We get to the back of this thing, the taillights. I love the smoked out kind of just, just aggressive look of these taillights. I think it, it, it just, it looks mean. Like the way Ford is doing this, I've seen this little etching. It reminds me of uh, the Everest that's not here in the United States just yet, but it does have that Everest 5 to it. Quad tips on this thing. They sound fun and, well, it's an Explorer, so it's going to be fun. Look at all the cargo area you're getting back here, Kelly. And, oh boy, you're getting more space to store things. See, here's what's funny about this, is that this has more cargo area than the Expedition. Yeah, which is a larger vehicle. Yeah. Or more, it seems like more usable. You're getting, yeah. look, tie downs. That's cool. You're look, actually more getting storage on the side too. tie downs. Oh yeah, more storage there. Um, so if you needed something, you needed a big sheet of plywood, not that I'd want to put it in here, but I have a feeling it might actually fit in here, right? Yeah, yeah, with um, the seats pulled down for sure. The electric looks like the seats are all, all pop up, manual headrest on this. But once again, you're getting almost as much cargo room, if not more, than the ex expedition. expedition right now. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy to me and a lot of a lot of good thought. They people know they know exactly what the market for this is. Ford's not silly. They they know, hey, large families, we still need to give mom or dad, whoever, some room to uh, put groceries in there. And uh, I think they got a home run on their hands. So that's our first look at the new 2025. That's right. It seems weird to say 25 Ford Explorer, but um, <laughs> ST I think so far what we've seen is a home run. I want to get in one of these things. I want to hear the ponies up her. I want to take it on a drag strip. I think I that would be rumble. the ultimate fun. I want to rumble it. Well, there's not a V8, but it's going to rumble. It'll rumble a little bit. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or this wicked, look at it, wicked. Ford Explorer ST. That's right. That we're going to drive. This has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. Kelly Boyd. And we are out. Peace. See ya.